add attachments to our weapons. It'd be fantastic if we could find something like that. To get oh gosh, what's going on? Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome everybody to Decimation. As you can see today, we are at the Flesh Dealer and we are going to trade in whatever flesh we have for whatever they can give us. So we're going to check that out right now. Looks like this guy just got ahead of us, but let's see what he can give us. So, we are going to give him rotten flesh. So I believe, let's see what it says here, right click to sell, we get $20 for it, not bad, so we are going to sell there for what we got. Um, so as you can see, we're selling for, I think that much, so we can just click on it, and there we go, sweet. So we just made ourselves $800, actually $860 from just selling flesh from the zombies that we have been uh, accumulating and just killing off from surviving. So that's pretty cool. I believe we do have a shop as well. I'm going to try that. Probably not actually, believe it or not. So um, I'm pretty sure around here they have shops. Uh, oh, there is some cool stuff around here too. That looks awesome. All right. So I'm not seeing much around here. I know there are places where you can get food. Oh, perfect. A food dealer. This is what we need right now. This is kind of what we're really struggling with. So uh, I believe he may be up here. Maybe selling something. There you are, buddy. All right. So I need some food. We're going to get ourselves some cooked pork chop. It's pretty cheap, and we're going to get ourselves... Let's go with 32. There we go, bud. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we really do need this food because, as you can see, we've been surviving for quite some time without really anything. So, we're going to go now on an adventure and see what we can find from spawn. Now, hopefully, we do not get killed off, but as you guys all know, things happen. So, we're just going to go for it here. Oh, I do hear someone. Oh, we're not going to go in that area, guys. We're just going to bank. Oh, okay. No, I'm stuck. Okay, back away from that. All right, so we're going to go and adventure off. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of people actually near here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're just going to just get out of here for the most part. We don't really want to team with anyone. Uh, that's just not how it works right now. Oh, I do hear gunshots. Or oh, I heard someone reloading, so we're going to just get the heck out of here. We're going to take out our weapon just in case people try to kill us. Uh, we're just gonna actually turn around here and make sure no one's following us. Alright, we're in good shape. Alright, guys, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Oh, oh, am I hearing shots? I'm not sure if I'm here. Oh, and there we go. We got wrecked. Okay, guys, not a bit. Oh, we did spawn, actually. This is kind of nice. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm actually kind of happy with this. That's actually not a big deal. We found a place right there. I'm actually okay with this because we do have some kits I really did want to test out. So we're going to do slash kit, and we're going to go with police because, you know what? I think it's kind of cool to get back in the grind with the Rick Grimes type feel. So there we go. We have a police outfit going for us. Uh, that looks actually kind of cool. I'm kind of liking that. Uh, but it's not exactly like the Rick Grimes, but you get the feel for it. We do have a scar, which is pretty cool as well. We have some food, some ammo. We still have our money as well from selling the rotten flesh. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's check out this place. Let's see what we can find over here. All right. Looks kind of quiet. All right, let's just check out what's in here. All right, looks like a lot of, uh, a lot of generators or whatever this is. I can't really tell. But there's a lot of storage stuff here. Okay, great. So some melons, we'll take that. I don't know if we need extra gear. We already have plenty of that. I don't want to carry too much, but a melee weapon would be just perfect. Remington, that's awesome. Oh, a fireman's axe. All right, we're going to use a fireman's axe, small backpack, flashlight attachment. We'll probably use that in the future if we can find uh, an attachment for it. And I don't want to take anything that's too much to carry around. You know, I'm going to try to conserve as much as possible. Um, so let's check. Oh, gas mask, some empty cans. Actually, I don't know what you can do with empty cans, but we're going to take them. Oh, perfect. Some water and some cookies, some more food. Now, we're actually going to store... Oh, we do have some more stored items from our backpack. So, this is confirmed. If you die and you have a backpack on, like how I do, you actually don't lose it. So, that's actually a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, we have a double barrel. We'll take that. That's pretty good. What else is around here? Some more food, bulletproof, and some canned food. All right. This is actually not bad. Now, is this a gun attachment here? Let's check it out. I'm not sure if it is. I feel like it should be. I'm not sure you add the gun attachments. But it's not. It looks like it's just a crafting. So, um, I'm not entirely sure how you add attachments. Maybe, I don't think you can add a double barrel to a, uh, yeah, I don't think you do it here, guys. But that's just an idea just to keep in mind. Let's see if we can actually reload the double barrel. We do have Remington armor, or gear, but, um, ammo, but that's not going to be enough. It's not going to work for us. All right, so, uh, let's get the heck out of here. There's some more zombies spawning on, but let's, let's get, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, what is going on? They are attracted to someone here. Alright. Hey, is anyone around here? I'm friendly. 
And let's see if there's anyone here that needs to survive. Wow, Maybe help needs. Help me, please. Are you inside this shelter? Yes. All right, I. Can. All right, I got you. I'm gonna protect you. I'll kill these zombies off. All right, you're good. You can come out. Oh, there you are. All right. Yeah, no problem. You're going to be in a video. I'm doing a video for YouTube, so what's up? <laughs> cool. No, I am not much. Awesome. You're probably the first person I encountered here, so that's pretty cool. really close, and there's a million and one people. All right, that's a good thing. Let's get out of here, then. I'm just going to wander off, so it's nice seeing you. See it. Stay safe. Do you need a weapon by any chance? No, I'm good. All right, all right, cool. Best of luck. Best of luck. Peace. All right, there we go, guys. We came encountered with a person. We saved him, which is pretty awesome. But uh, as he just told us, we got to get the heck out of here. He was he was actually getting the heck out of here as well. So uh, we're not going to try to stay too close to here. We're probably going to get to move out because, as he just said, this place is close to spawn. There's millions of people out there trying to come to the same place, which kind of makes sense because, as you guys can tell, there was a lot of supplies and resources right alongside. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm a good person on this server. So if you do see me, uh, you don't have to kill me. I'm most likely going to help you out with any supplies. I offered the guy some weapons. He seemed he was in good shape. But it was awesome to help him out, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get some uh, reloading action on this scar here. So I'm pretty happy. We acted as a policeman, so that's pretty cool. We helped the person in need. Okay, I want to make sure we're not being followed. Um, uh, it looks like we're in good shape, but we're going to probably have to cut through the woods here. We do have a vehicle. We actually have a police truck. So um, let's actually try and maybe get this police car running. And let's see how that works out. <laughs> we got everyone in the chat saying, what's good? How's it going? Shout out to you guys. Thanks for being so supportive and anything like that. If you're watching the video, let me know in the comment sections. I know I can't reply right now while I'm doing the video, but you guys are all awesome. Thanks for all the support. All right, let's see if we can get this vehicle up and running here, guys. All right, this is going to be a big truck, so let's see if it works out for us. And there we go. Oh, boy. Okay, this is actually pretty big. Um, so I believe, let's see. To do this, you can just go, I believe, inside. And then how do you... I think it's B, maybe? Let's see. Um, how do you put the gas? I think it's maybe I, or is it period? It's one of the stuff here. All right, let's go in controls, options, controls. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, inventory, definitely not R. Uh, let's see. Gameplay, okay, pick up sprint. Oh, that's just the basic stuff. No, that's the hot bar, inventory. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing anything here, guys. All right, um, open chat. Okay, we're getting close here. We're getting close. Oh, no, that's everything. Okay, so I have no idea how to put gas in this, but I believe the vehicle still moves even if you don't put gas, so I think we're fine right now. There we go. Okay, we, we can still drive around, guys. I don't even know how we're doing. Oh, there is a building over here. Actually, let's check this place out. We are going here anyway, so um, let's just stop the vehicle here. It looks like just a little shelter. All right, let's get out of the vehicle. Let's actually break it. I don't want to lose it. So I don't think we're going to do anything with vehicle traveling at the moment. But, all right, let's check out. Make sure no one's holding shelter here. But let me know in the comment sections how you put gas in a vehicle. I used to remember how to do it, but it's been a while, so I kind of forgot. So I apologize about that. Uh, let's keep looking around. There should be something here, maybe. This looks like a little farm here, like a barn. Oh, there we go. What do we got here? This place is empty. Oh, man, there's nothing here. All right, let's check out if there's maybe something up here as well. Maybe something here. Let's check it out. Hey, there we go. So we got some bread, a silencer, and some spetnaz boots, but we don't need any armor. Let's actually store some of this stuff in the backpack uh, because we do have a lot of stuff. We do have water, which is great. I'm going to throw out the canteens there or the cans. We don't really need them. They're not too much use for us at the moment, but all right, looking good so far. I think we're going to go and travel along this road here. This looks kind of interesting. It looks like a big road, so it could lead us into a pretty infested area for the most part so i'm gonna kind of keep a lookout make sure we're safe let's drink up some water kind of get some rehydration up in here all right there we go and let's actually fill up some more water there we go good thing we have this nearby and uh, i think we're okay on food i'm probably going to eat ourselves what is this golden apple we're not going to use that even though we just ate one uh let's get some green apples here perfect okay and then we're going to probably store the gas stuff in our e chest as well because we're not really going to be using the car. Oh, we do have a lot of helicopters too. I do not know how to use those yet, but we do have miniguns. We have a lot of cool things in our e chest from people donating. So I appreciate that, whoever you guys were. Thank you for that. All right, let's keep going on this main road. Now, 
I'm kind of suspicious about this because, you know, anything leading up to a main road could be a big city. And with that being said, if that, you know, if we come into a big city, we're going to see a lot of people. So hopefully we're not going to run into any bandits. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking we're going to take a left here. I'm kind of interested to see what's going on to the left. All right. Even if this is just a main. Oh, I do see something here, maybe. But I'm just going to stick on the main road. There's a house right there. We're going to go and check that out. We're going to take out our scar. Maybe it's a barn of some sorts. Looks like no one there. But you can never be too sure, so we're going to have to keep a lookout. It uh, looks kind of safe. All right, sweet. Let's go in here. We also do have a clan, so I'm going to have to start adding people to the clan. All right, let's see. Anything in here? This place is empty. That means someone must have been here. Someone definitely must have been here. I don't know if I have slash near. There's another house right here. Oh, did I hear someone? Hello? Is anyone nearby? All right, let's see. Um, not hearing anyone say anything, so we're gonna I'm just gonna crouch into this building and see if there's anyone in here. That could have been just my backpack moving, or it just could have been someone else loading stuff. But right now it looks safe. All right. Oh, press R to include fuel. Okay, there we go. So R is to get fuel in the vehicle. This place is empty. All right, someone's definitely been here. Let's get this truck up and going, guys. I think it's time for that because we are gonna be on a main road. So we're gonna click R to fuel up the car. There we go. That was actually in chat, so that's great to find out. All right, this is like a dead end. All right, it's place. Oh no. Where'd the truck go? No, where'd it go? I just had a vehicle. All right, I guess that. Ha no, this is definitely a ping. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, let's place it one more time. Maybe n away from the building, if anything. Let's place it right here. There we go. Okay. And now we gotta press R to uh, fill it up. There we go. So fuel, let's place the fuel up in there. It is loading up and we are good to go, guys. This is awesome. All right, let's 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 go and, uh, oh, there's uh, some, oh, that's pretty loud. All right, cool. So we're just gonna go off in this direction and go back onto that main road. We're gonna take a left when we get down there. So let's see how that works out for us. All right, this is the first time I'm really driving this uh, type of vehicle on here. So we're gonna see how that works out for us. So far, it's a pretty good drive. I'm pretty happy. The sound is kind of bugging up, which is not a big deal, but um, let's just see where it takes us. I don't want to go through a big city because I'm not really fortified for that right now, but we're just going to see what we can find. Actually, we're going to slow down a bit here. I want to see what's going on. Oh, I do see a building. Oh, I think this is one of the spawns. I'm pretty sure this is one of the spawns here. Um, all right, we're going to stop the truck. All right, let's get out of here. Break the vehicle. Let's go inside here and see what this is. Hey, is anyone around here? Alright, looks like no one here. I'm pretty sure this is one of the spawn points, but I'm not going to be um, really just easy going. Looks like there's some blood on this barbed bar. Definitely has been a fight around here. Alright, so let's just keep it steady, guys, and see what we can find. Um, hopefully, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a spawn point. Yes, it is, so we're safe, but there is a dead body. Uh, nothing inside, just a rotting corpse, okay. Oh, gosh! Oh, man, where'd this guy come from? Okay, there we go, back off, there we go. Alright, we're fine, we're not, we're not infected yet, we're fine. Alright, so what is this weapon dealer? But there's no weapon dealer. This place looks like a dead zone. Oh, that's my ender chest over here. Okay, is there anything else here? Maybe I can, uh, mod some of my weapons here. Let's see, a backpack, a cellar. Wow, this place is dead, it's empty. Food, storage, okay, this place is just gone, uh, just completely abandoned. Alright, well, there's not much we can do here, guys. We're probably just gonna have to call it off, but it's a good place to definitely keep some shelter, if anything. Let's go back here and see if there's anything. Everything is pretty much, uh, abandoned. Looks like they left for the best of themselves as well, just need some shelter. Alright, well, you know what, that's fine. We're gonna probably store the vehicle. Actually, I don't know if I want to go further on with the vehicle. Kind of want to save it, but, uh, who knows, we might just, uh... I mean, take it. I guess we're kind of like in a really dangerous situation here. Oh, wait, there's some more buildings here. All right, you know what? I see some zombies, but I'm thinking we're going to go and loot out this building. There's a few buildings here. Looks like we reached some type of factory area, uh, but I can't be too sure. We're going to check it out. Looks like some storage here. Let's check out if there's anything. Oh, some steak. Haven't had some good food in a while, and we got some more water, which is fantastic. So it looks like no one's been around here. Kind of interesting, huh? All right, let's keep looking. All right, there's a zombie right there. Let's get in here. Hopefully, he can't follow us in here. He does. Okay, there we go. Back off. All right, that was kind of dangerous. Anything else? All right, looks like they're kind of just carrying on in the woods over there. All right, some more storage here. Perfect. All right, some bread. We definitely need a lot of food. That The more the better, guys. I'm, I'm saying the more the better because right now, it's just me surviving alone. If I had another group, it would have been easier, but 
for now we're just gonna kind of carry on and see what we can find here what is this is this maybe a possible uh, uh just no you can't okay see i'm trying to find what is the actual crafting uh you know kind of container that we can use to add attachments to our weapons It'd be fantastic if we could find something like that to get oh gosh what's going on Oh, snap! That was actually really good. Oh, I had to reload as well. Guys, that was what I call some action right there. That was the first action we got involved in. And let me tell you one thing. I freaked. I froze up because I knew I had to reload. And I was like, where'd this guy go? So, props to you, whoever it was, dude. That was some action right there. Thanks for that. Actually, that's a good practice for us. Even though we died, we did save someone. We died from a bandit. Not a big deal. But now I know I got to get more aware of my surroundings. Even though I was trying to be as cautious as possible. We ending off, I mean, today's episode with a bang, hopefully. But uh, we're going to go in one of these homes. We're not going to use a kit right now. Uh, we're kind of coming to the end of the episode. But we're going to just hold off here in one of the homes and just kind of survive a bit. We do have a lot. We still have the backpacks. We still got gear in there. There's no big deal. But I think it's safe to say we should probably hold off into one of the homes here. You know, get some supplies. We'll throw this on as well. See what else is here. Oh, look at that. Just what we needed. So we do have a weapon ready to go, if anything, for emergencies. So we're back at it again. Props to that, dude. So now we're going to have to work on it because I'm so used to the crafting dead that uh, sometimes it's a bit more difficult to get used to everything. But from s just, from, uh, just in general, from looting this place out, we're kind of already pretty much good to go for a survivor here. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, we dropped our weapon, though. All right, let's get that here. All right, so that was insane. That was crazy. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button as well. And also subscribe if you guys are new. What are we dying from? Oh, there's an invisible zombie. Yep, there's an invisible zombie. I can see him. All right, we actually got to get out of here. There's an invisible zombie. Apparently, that's a thing. Unless I'm just dehydrated. But I know that there's uh, invisible zombies on here. So we're just going to have to go out of here. Um, and just find a place that we can just hold off. This is a pretty... Oh, gosh. There's a lot of zombies. All right. This place looks pretty secure. They're definitely not going to be able to get in here. Okay. Perfect. This is just what we needed. All right. Some other stuff. Some supplies. Perfect. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button for more of Decimation. Subscribe if you guys are new. And beware because now I'm going to be uploading more Decimation, more Minecraft Survival Let's Play, and more Crafting Dead. On top of that, some halloween theme things because it is the theme of the month of October. So get ready for that. It's going to be some cool things. And if anything, if I do have the proper uh, timing, I could possibly release a cool musical parody for uh, Halloween. You'll get a hint about it later on, but it's something I'm thinking about. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But other than that, guys, my name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.